Prime Minister Gonsalves said that substantial amendments to the bill have already been made at the Select Committee and its report to Parliament will show these amendments. Which has come out of Select Committee was circulated yesterday. And because it was circulated yesterday, I sought the guidance of the Speaker um, on the matter because we have to report to Parliament. But what I'm not going to be able to speak about is the actual report which we are making to Parliament in terms of the minutes and the report of the Select Committee. But in as much as the bill has been circulated to all the parliamentarians, in its amended form, I can speak about the amendment. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, you, 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 so I'm, not, I'm not flouting the rules and I consulted the speaker. Okay, great. Because I know I was coming on being okay. yeah. said. Uh -huh. A person who intentionally and without lawful excuse or justification obtains for himself or another person computer data which is not meant for him oh. or the other person and which is protected against unauthorized access commits an offense and it says what the penalties were. Yep. That, but this is what was inserted at the select committee. Subsection 2. Subsection 1 does not apply to a person who shows that in the particular circumstances the obtaining was justified in the public interest so that if somebody gets some information that a public official a politician whoever it is has a is corrupt they get data on it you obtain it this information when you publish it they can't come at you because you will have what is called a public interest defense which did not exist before when, when the bill was originally drafted and the way in which some people have passed it in the region. And then we go on to say a, non, a new clause, cl sub-clause, cl sub-clause 3, 7, 3. Nothing in this section shall be construed as protecting the unauthorized access A, to personal data consisting of information of a person's physical or mental health or B, to any information, the disclosure of which is prohibited by law for this from disclosure, like certain security information. So that if anybody gets any information about Bing or Stephen, about your personal, um, or me, about my mental or physical um, health. health, you wouldn't have the public interest defense. But the society may well be saying, but you should disclose it. Okay. The Association of Caribbean Media Workers, ACM, has expressed concern about a push by St. Vincent and the Grenadines to address legitimate issues associated with harmful online content through legislation. The ACM said that such a move tramples upon important principles associated with freedom of expression and freedom of press, noting that some of the international partners, including International Press Institute, IPI, Reporters Without Borders, and the Center for Law and Democracy, CLD, have recently addressed the in fair detail offending section of the cybercrime bill in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. An appeal is being made for Vincentia to support the different activities that are being held around the country to observe Emancipation Month. This appeal was made by Chief Cultural Officer Anthony Theobalds, who said that Emancipation Month kicked off on Monday, August 1st, with a number of activities across the country. Mr. Theobald said a number of major activities are pending and he encourages members of the public to be supportive. The culture officer said there is a wide variety of activities taking place throughout the country and this shows that Vincentians have developed a growing sense of consciousness about the importance of emancipation. A delegation from the United Arab Emirates, AEU, will visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines to meet with Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez and other government officials from today, August 9th to Thursday, August 11th, 2016. The visiting delegation is scheduled to arrive in the state from Antigua and Barbuda tomorrow and will be led by Director of Commercial and Government Relations, Minister of State Office, Mr. Khalid Almani. On Wednesday, August 10th, they will meet with Prime Minister Gonsalves, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sir Louis Straker, Minister of Economic Planning and Sustainable Development, Camille Gonsalves, Minister of Transport and Works, Julian Francis, Permanent Secretary of Energy and Land, of Energy, Land and Sea, sorry, that is Land and Seaport Development, Godfrey Pompey, and Chief Executive Officer of SVG Port Authority, Mr. Baishen John. The delegation from the United Arab Emirates will tour the Kingstown Port facilities, will also visit and tour the Argyle International Airport, 
where they will meet with Minister of Tourism, Sport and Culture, Cecil Mackey, Chief Executive Officer of the SVG Tourism Authority, Glen Beach, and other officials. The delegation will culminate its visit to this country on Thursday, August 11th. Welcome back. The organizers of the carnival activities on the Grand Island of Carnarvon have described this year's festival as a huge success. This year's festivities, which run from July 25th to August 1st, were organized by the group Club Nuevo under the theme, The Ultimate Summer Event in the Grenadines. President of Club Nuevo, Hansel Henry, says they were overwhelmed with the public support the activities received this year. The Buildings, Roads and the General Services Authority, BRAGSA, commenced its summer road cleaning program on Monday, August 8th in various communities throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The program is expected to run for a period of two to three weeks at a cost of approximately $1.7 million and will employ in excess 3,800 persons, including gangs, jobbers and truckers. The clearing of drains and road verges will be the main focus throughout the program. Braxa is also continuing with its 2016 road repair program. Some repair works were done in Career, Victoria Village, Calder, Montgrenan, Diamonds, Obia, Townhill and Frenches. Presently work is ongoing on Top Queens Drive and Kelburney. Braxa says all attempts are being made to schedule and implement these repair works to accommodate motorists and road users. It looks forward to the cooperation of the public with a view that works will be completed on schedule and with minimal disruption. Stay with us. Coming up next, we take a look at the sporting highlights.